everybody. It me, Riley. You may know me as Honey Rags, you may not. I'm a full-time reseller and I resell mainly clothing, but I also sell vintage hard goods. I actually resell anything and everything, so I shouldn't really be too specific here. So I am doing my first ever unboxing on this channel. Oh wow, I'm a mess. Okay, so turns out in my last video when I said I was losing my voice and I was kind of getting sick, but I wasn't sure if I was sick or if I just lost my voice for some weird reason, it turns out I was at the beginning stages of a sickness. So I can't get you guys sick through the internet, so I hope none of you are grossed out. Um, anyways, I wanted to wait until I was completely better to do this thread up unboxing video because, I mean, honestly, but just having this sitting in my house, knowing that I can't open it until I take a video has been killing me. Like, I've been sitting on it for about four days because I got it in the mail about four days ago, and I cannot sit on it any longer. I am dying to know really as soon as I start my video just get your tubes tied if you're watching this go get your tubes tied so anyway if you guys don't know what thread up is I'm not really gonna sit here and explain it to you actually just because I'm I just want to open my box but um they buy used clothing and sometimes they have extras and whatnot stuff that doesn't sell and they make these boxes that you can order on their website. So this is the designer box. And from what I heard, these used to be like $60. Now they're $80. So I've watched a few other Thread Up Designer unboxing videos, which would really be the only box that I would even consider buying because some of the other ones seemed like there was a high chance of just getting duds. But I just wanted to experience it for myself. I had been checking ThreadUp's website for a few weeks and finally one day I checked it and they had the designer boxes. So I almost bought two. Um, but I really just wanted to experience it for myself before I bought another box. Like if this one's no bueno, I might not buy another box. Just because I am very picky with where my money goes when it comes to reselling. You know, like everything is an investment. And as much as I love mysteries, I'm really not much for a gamble. I'm pointing this thing at me. Like, okay, I should probably put that down. I'm really not much for a gamble. So I've seen some really good designer unboxings and I've seen some like iffy ones where I would kind of be mad if I got that in my box. So instead of whipping my scissors around, I'm just gonna cut into this and start. I'm really excited actually, I'm not gonna lie. My adrenaline rush here. And it seems like a really heavy box, so. But I don't, I'm so excited. Okay, first impressions. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so this is just a receipt telling me about my order. I know they don't do, like everything is, um, you can't return things, I guess, unless they're counterfeit. Okay, so I see a purse. Just kidding, it's shoes. Okay. Let's get this together. Oh, they're Todd's. So that's good. I mean, it's not like, it's not like Jimmy Choo or anything. But I've never sold a pair of Todd's and I like anything that I haven't sold before. I like crossing it off my bolo list. So these are cute. They're in really good condition and they're made in Italy. I don't know what I'm going to list them for. Um, I'm not, I don't know the most about designer items. I really don't because around me and what I resell, I find a lot of bread and butter items and I resell a lot of bread and butter. I don't really often find like luxury items. Maybe, so. No. These are Prada shoes. So, Wow. I'm so mad that I didn't get two boxes now. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, there's a little bit of damage, just really like where the outer skin, or whatever you wanna call it, is kind of coming up. But I mean, I could put some Gorilla Glue on that bad boy and just disclose it as like a repair. So yeah, these are Prada. 
I know. So they're just regular black heels, but how did this even happen to me? Oh, so there are a couple of areas that needed to be that need to be repaired. I'm not gonna complain though because they're obviously not like completely damaged, and I'd still I don't know how much I'm gonna list these for, but well, my son's creeping in the video. No, I usually don't let him crawl on the table, but I am right here. Oh God, I'm a mess. Okay, so this oh oh so there's like three things here. So did I get more than I'm supposed to? Oh, no, you're supposed to get seven items for $80. That's what it was. I was going to say. Okay, this one is a dud to me. This is a Kate Spade. So I like Kate Spade, but I would not consider this. Well, I shouldn't say I wouldn't consider this designer. But when I think of designer, I think of like uh, like what I just mm. got. Like Prada and um, like mm. Red Bottoms and mm. Jimmy Choo's and stuff like that. Yeah. So this is just a Kate Spade. I'm honestly... I don't know if I'm going to resell it because it looks like it has a little bit, bit of discoloring on the front. Well, yeah, I'll probably throw it on eBay because I don't, I wouldn't. Just let me enjoy my unboxing. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. This looks like clothing. So, which is exciting. Designer clothing. What's this? Oh, this is Machino. So, but this is. Machino jeans is that like a lower mm. line regardless mm. this I'm impressed with because this I would consider designer so the zipper looks fine um I don't think it are you kidding me uh. that's embarrassing you guys are never gonna watch my unboxings again I have a baby crawling in my face the whole time so this is just a cute little Machino skirt Am I saying that right? So that I'm impressed with. And this is Max Mara. No. Really? Is you playing? I'm impressed. So this is just like a, is this actually men's? This No, this is women's. It's called Max Mara. It says weekend. I don't know if that's like a, so this is just like a chambray blouse. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so that I'm also impressed with. So thank you, Thread Up. And it looks like I have two more things in here and they're both purses. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this one looks a little discolored, but, oh, it's a coach, damn it. So I wouldn't really consider coach designer. This is really cute though. And it is like a, I don't think this is like a coach factory. I think this, well, maybe it is, I don't know. So it's cute, I'll give it that. But I don't like, I think this is a Dooney. No, what is this? Okay guys, Bogetta Veneta. <laughs> oh my God, I did not say that right. Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta. You guys, this is embarrassing. So I know this is a good brand because I found a pair of Bottega Veneta shoes before. And I looked up the comps and they were pretty good. So this is exciting just because it's a new to me brand. Um, so I'm impressed. And when I buy another, this is all the items by the way, guys. Okay. Would I buy another Thread Up Designer Rescue Box? Yes. Um, I feel like the coach makes the cut. Like, no, I won't even go into detail. I feel like this makes the cut just because it's, it's cute and it seems like it's a newer one. Um, the Kate Spade wallet was probably the biggest stud. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it really is discolored on the bottom. And this is not something that I feel like I could just lift out with a cleaning. So, but my son's intruding again on the video. A lot of the other unboxing videos that I watched, I feel like Fred Up might send those users better things because they know that they're going to post a video about it. I don't know. 
it could be in my head. But I mean, I've seen people get like Dolce & Gabbana and Red Bottoms and Prada, like all in the same box. So don't quote me, but so, you know what I'm talking about. Like I've seen really good boxes and I've seen worse boxes than what I've had. So the Prada shoes really made me feel like I was getting my money's worth and then some because I can probably make my money back just on those. Um, yeah. Okay. So I guess I've, every other unboxing video I've seen, people always do like a final thoughts, but I think I just did that. Um, so yeah, I have the Todd's, the Prada shoes, the Kate Spade clutch, the coach bag. Gross. Okay. This, you guys, somebody help me out so I can stop looking like an idiot. How do you say that? I, I've heard of this brand before and I cannot, I can't say it. The, seriously, my son is screwing me over. And the Max Mara shirt. So, would I buy another thread up uh, designer box? Yes. As always, I am going to leave a link down below in the description to my Instagram. My son is throwing my tripod down. This is so embarrassing. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe. I'm going to leave it at this.